everybody what is going on Ruben Texas all water fishing I'm out here today with Eric and we get this one little spot that we'll, we'll fish from time to time weight fish was nothing going on there the water was dirty the waves were a little bigger than normal or, or rather than they were forecasted and just nothing no birds very little bait if any and uh, so we decided to get in the truck and take a ride so we are in Freeport Surfside area we we'll said we hook up for you guys throwing all lures hopefully be throwing all spoons but we'll see we might change it up a little bit but thanks for coming back don't forget to like comment subscribe share eric you got any words of wisdom mm, let's get out here and get them that's about all we can do <laughs> <laughs> gotta look for them <laughs> this is the part of the game a lot of people need to know about this when you you gotta look for them you gotta look for them sometimes you come out the fish ain't right where you first go no you got to sometimes you got to chase them down yeah 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 plan a plan b plan c and then sometimes you gotta just restart your whole game over. Yep, start back at A again. Yeah. But we're gonna we're gonna go with plan B right now. Let's go. That took a while. There's a lot of cast for that guy. But, you know, we got one. There he is. One guy. I know some people say, well, you can catch them all the time if it's brown water. Well, yeah, that's true, but the probability of catching trout in darker water is tough. It's tougher for you. Because trout will feed off sight, and if they can't see your lure, then it's gonna be a little harder. But, you get lucky. You know, he can get on him, but that's one. You need to get him under control, get him out of that water. There you go. There you go. Cash master catching it on. Cash master. No. <clears throat> there we go. There you go. Might be another one. He's, he's not He's not a trout. Might be another gap top. Might be on a school. On the you did? Yeah. Don't do it. <laughs> yep, there's a school. Another gap top. At least you put got balled up. Yes, sir. I'm not complaining. So I get him off. That way you got me though, man. <laughs> there you go. Nice gap top right there. Fun to catch. Nice little fun fight. Alright, so we have nothing going on here. Um, they want to move a little further down and see if the green water is. Looks like it might be just out there. So we might get lucky and it might clear up closer to Surfside. But I don't know. Eric broke off. He popped off. Lost his spoon. So he's going to retie. So figure it'll be a good chance for, good time for us to, us to move. All right, so it looks like we found cleaner water closer. So, but we just talked to some guys in Galveston and he or he said that he was fishing in Galveston earlier and he caught seven nice ones in some of that dirty water. Eric and I just couldn't find them over there. So that's why we ended up over here. But it looks like right where this line is, where you have the line between clean water or cleaner water and brown water, you will always 
find the bait and you will always find the fish. I'm not seeing any bait, but hopefully fish will be here. Here he got himself fish on. Oh yeah, I already hit top water. It's a speck. Oh, he came off right yep. at the net. Oh god. Right in the net. Oh! I don't know what that ice about that ice cream man behind us. Yeah. <laughs> Need to chill with all that copyright music. <laughs> at least he ain't playing that old racer. There you go. There we go. That's a nice Becky. There he got another one. There he got another one. Watch this wave. Wave fishing, baby. Oh, that's a nice one. Yep. Quick update. You know, the, the sand, the dirty water has moved back in. We have just a little bit of olive green right here, but it's pretty dirty too. But for the most part, everything is dirty. It's the water is dirty. You can see the blue line is just out of our range. And it's just, you know, that's just what happens. You know, the tide moves, the water clarity gets murky. And you try to, I try to stay in the clean water as much as possible. But we walked way down there and we got found a little pocket where I lost a speck. And I just flew the drone a little bit and kind of saw kind of just right in front of the truck where we parked is pretty much like the best the best spot for that may have maybe holding fish or may have the best water clarity so but we're still casting we're still out here we're fishing I think I'm on your line <clears throat> I feel like I'm on you might just come up Hold on. Let me try to net him first. Oh. Is it the devil up? There we go. Yeah. Good job, buddy. There we go. Nice guy there. There he is. Nice little speck. Another spooner on the spoon. Yes, sir. Unfortunately, I caught my net too, so this is... Oh yeah, this is, I feel the head shakes. This is a nice one right here. Let's see if we can get him in. Let's see if we can get him in. Straight out? No. To the left? Yes. Uh... Nope, it's not a nice one. My arm just tired <laughs> from all this gas tape. Uh, came off in the net. There you go. Uh, still smell them though. There we go. There you go, Eric. Yeah. He's about 14, maybe 15. Yeah, little guy. Little guy. Purdy. Purdy guy.
All right, guys, so that is a wrap. You know, Eric and I came out to the surf. Yesterday, it was green, it was green all the way. Florida blue. <laughs> Very flat. Unfortunately, I couldn't come out. Came out today, and like luck will have it, it's very very dirty we were lucky enough to find a couple of spots where we can get in the green stuff but just wasn't really happening for us how many how many keepers did you how many fish did you catch today? Uh, about four four how many yeah. how many keepers did you keep no. you didn't get you didn't get one i might might have been i think know, i he, think one or two look like close. it yeah you were close i'm not sure i didn't measure them. yeah i lost a real good one i broke yeah. off and um and we lost a lot of spoons today we really did but you know that's just how it goes sometimes you know that's why it's called fishing that's why people come out and that's why you keep coming out so you can have those great days and then days like today where we just kind of hung out and you know bounced around a little bit but we still had a good time we still had fun and to me that's what it's all about that's what it's all about man but thank you very much for watching please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hopefully next time you catch me hooking up Thanks.